Hello, welcome to another pick a card reading. I'm so excited for this reading. So we're doing this reading in honor of Venus becoming an evening star. It happens, it's supposed to happen sometime after the 20th of this upcoming week. Um, we never really know exactly which day it's going to happen, but uh, you know, astrologers are basically all on the lookout, we're all on the watch, and basically we're gonna be having blessings in abundance with our money because you know, Venus rules our money, um, and as well as in love. And so I wanted to do this reading um, just to talk about some things that maybe you could be manifesting or something that spirit has and wants to share with you right now, um, just to help you with this week. And and, um, you know these amazing things that are happening um, up in our you know beautiful solar system so uh, for the first group this is the first pile this is honey calcite this is our second pile this is a turkey feather and this is our third pile this is um, a citrine and so um, usually it's a candle holder I don't have a candle in it right now but um this gorgeous love of citrine I absolutely love this so for honey calcite if you're feeling you know called to group number one you could be called to group number one because it is group number one or maybe because you just like the way that this you know beautiful crystal looks but with honey calcite let me get it to kind of focus in with honey calcite um this does show like um our solar plexus like this is basically a solar plexus stone. And um, what that does is, is it amplifies your energy. So it helps you with big changes. Um, you would use this if you need help in, with like enhancing your intellect or your memory. So for our solar plexus, which is right here, it's um, underneath our breasts. It's like in the middle, um, kind of in the middle of our breasts, but like underneath them. Um, basically it's like your power, your self-esteem. Uh, it's like your strength. This is what makes you magnetic and it brings opportunities to you. It brings people to you. People with a very strong solar plexus, like they have like a high social standing usually. Like they, they are more popular. Um, they are known by those around them. Like they just stand out. Uh, usually they will have a certain degree of fame. This could be online, this could be within your workplace. Um, you know, this could be with, you know, the group that you meet with on Wednesdays at your church Bible study. You know, th these people are just are somebodies. You definitely recognize these people. So when your solar plexus is unbalanced, what seems to happen is you have, you know, a lower self-esteem. You don't feel seen, you don't feel heard, you don't feel in your power. Um, you know, maybe you find yourself following others instead of being a leader. Um, it's just, you know, uh, it's not the best. So if you feel called for this, you could feel called for this because you want this in your life or you just like the stone, or you could feel called because maybe you feel like you have an imbalance, but that's pile number one. So pile number two, the turkey feather. Um, I love this feather. This is usually used in smudging. Usually you'll have like, um, you can't see the smoke right now, but you can have your incense going and you would waft it around the room. Um, or you can have your sage burning. You could have your uh, Palo Santo burning. Turkey feathers signify abundance and pride and fertility. Have you ever seen a turkey with their feathers fanned out? They have so many. I mean, this is, you know, it's fertile energy. Um, but also, you know, it's, you know, purification, like we use it for that. If this speaks to you or if you just like the way that it looks then you know or maybe you just like the number two and you feel like this second pile is calling you then you know this is for you um so for pile pile number three this is citrine this is raw citrine look at this i love 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 just the depth of this how you get to see just the natural formation of the crystal um uh, I love raw crystals. So for group three, so usually citrine, you know, is a yellowish color. Um, you do use citrine for balancing your sacral chakra. So your sacral sacral chakra is right underneath your belly button, but before you get to your pelvis. So it's in the, like the small of your tummy. And um, usually the, uh, the color is orange. So if you want to enhance yours, you would wear like lots of orange or you can use carnelian, but citrine is also used for balancing. Basically with your sacral chakra, it represents your creativity, your sexuality, your reproduction, pleasure. Um, you'll feel great joy. Like when this is balanced, you have amazing creativity, no writer's block. Um, your sexuality will be thriving, but in a healthy way. You'll find it easy to not only give pleasure, but to also receive pleasure from others. People with a blocked sacral chakra may have issues with orgasms, either with their partner or themselves. Um, they may feel guilty or shy when it comes to sexual activities, or they may be completely irresponsible and just give away their sexual energy to just anybody. Um, which would also like drain them of that power. This is a very, very powerful, this is one of the most 
of, in a woman, this is your most powerful chakra. You you need this energy. Um, this, this is everything. When, when this energy is balanced, not only are you able to attract quality men and quality partners, but it lifts up you as well. Like you benefit, everyone benefits. Um, this is this is very, very important for women. And so if you feel like you have an imbalance of your sac sacral chakra, or maybe you are working with your sacral chakra right now, and you know, you just feel like this speaks to you, or you just like the look of this crystal, then you know, group three is for you. So we're gonna get into it, I already pulled them out. And um, it's a mixture of Oracle cards and um, we have like this uh, sexual tarot deck. You know, you guys know I love the imagery on this deck. This is not your your average, you know, Rider weight deck. And so for that reason, we're not gonna make this um, video about teaching or learning tarot. Um, you know, we'll just read the cards as they come because this is not, um, you know, something that you would use as a beginner. This is your Goddess Guidance Oracle. And I got this deck as a gift from my mother and it's the Sacred Rebels Guidebook. This is amazing for, um, you know, new beginnings and finding yourself and it's a really beautiful oracle deck. So I will meet you guys at your timestamps. Um, I'll probably have them below. So we'll start with um, group number one. So hello, group number one, my solar plexus babies. I'm so glad to do this reading for you guys. Um, I got very excited with this reading. Uh, we'll just start off with your goddess oracle deck right here. Hopefully you guys, you guys can see this. Um, so this is Una and basically it just says, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So right off the bat, I can kind of feel that someone may be rushing something. It could be in a relationship or it could be maybe even with your finances. You feel like you should have been further by now. Maybe you just feel like things, you know, you're behind, you're slow. Um, but basically this says, Nurturing a cause or relationship is a long-term commitment and one that can't be rushed. This level of devotion comes from a place of deep loving and concern. It isn't always easy to stick with someone or someone through thick and thin. So this is what they wrote in the book. So the actual author of this is like their message to you. Take action to let your loved ones know that you deeply care about them, but carry through with your priorities no matter what anyone else thinks. You'll feel so much better about yourself if you take the time for the relationship and projects that truly matter to your heart. Do what's important with absolute devotion. There's no competition for your true life's purpose. No need to worry or hurry or force things to happen. Ease into your new life instead of rushing into it. Right? So that was your first message. Now we have the Ace of Cups. I absolutely love pulling the Ace of Cups. This is the card, like this is the number one card of new love, of a new beginning. This is like, I, when I got this card for you guys and I, I pulled the other cards, I started to feel like this may be the early, you're either in the early stages of a new relationship um, or you have a new relationship coming in. And so, I get the sense of maybe you feel like things should have progressed by now. Maybe you're kind of starting to get a little impatient. Um, you know, with spirit speaking to you, you know, it's just saying, you know, slow down. It's okay. Everything's happening in perfect timing. But this is amazing and amazing omen. Like, this is a really, really good sign to get. It just, it means that you have a lot of success coming in. Like, this is, this is going to be a very satisfying relationship. So please don't rush it. Um, everything is happening in perfect divine timing. And um, trust me, if it's going to be a priority, which I feel like it probably is going to be a really great relationship, whether it's happened or you're already in the beginning stages of talking to someone, this is worth waiting for. So with your next card, you have the Eight of Swords. And this is why I told you guys, I feel like you're already in this relationship. You're already in the beginning stages of a relationship. And maybe you guys have been dating for a couple of weeks and you're already feeling, you're starting to get self-conscious. You're starting to get nervous. Um, and you know, when you get nervous, you, you can start to low key repel people. You're not as magnetic. Um, you know, this is Eight of Swords is usually the card of restriction, like, this is you have something to covet so what you have is so important that you're starting to stress yourself out about it this is internal stress this isn't anything coming from outside this isn't outside sources messing it up this is internal this is in your head um 
so don't feel self-conscious it, it's okay we know that we need to take it slow because you know rome wasn't built in a day those things that are really important you know they take time because you know it has you need a sturdy foundation um so with your next card you have the ten of pentacles i was so excited when i got this like this is the ultimate ultimate card of just financial security of happiness this is a long-term relationship this might be you know the person you actually start a family with like this is a very strong foundation and so i love how you know your opening card was easy does it and then this one is saying this is this is going to be worth the wait you're going to get everything you're going to have the happy life the dog the cat <laughs> the kids um everything's going to work out so th this is worth waiting for this is where you know don't stress over it um and you know that this might be a sign of this is what you have to look forward to this is what's to come because with venus being activated right now venus just entered taurus and then also you know we have it becoming an evening star so we have blessings and abundance coming in for you this this entire um spread it you know it shows blessings for not only your love life but also with your resources so you have a lot to look forward to and then the final card is uh, visions of life beyond death look at the imagery of this in this oracle deck this is one of the last cards which i thought i felt like was very prophetic um i mean already with the imagery um it's very very beautiful so um it just it speaks of your third eye of your intuition of opening up so this is something you can't see this is something you're gonna be feeling so I have the book and I dog-eared it so we can read exactly, you know, what the author meant when she when she created this. Let me get to it. So visions of life beyond death. Sacred vision is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see, to see what is real rather than what appears to be. This is true insight. The vision of love, the truth of all that is, can move us more than anything else possibly can. If you've been wondering about your life path or whether you should take action on a project or you need inspiration to really move you out of a slump you've fallen into, then this oracle brings you a message of hope. You will receive your vision. You will be graced with a way out of the stagnancy. You will be able to see things differently and more accurately. Any confusion or uncertainty that you have felt is going to pass and you will be left with clear insight. I really, really love this. And so the additional message, because um, there's a lot here, I won't read it all, but the additional message is that your ability to perceive is expanding into truth. And so these are the things that we feel. This is using our intuition. Your ability to be inspired and see the light in all things is unfolding. It must be nourished in your heart with loving acceptance because you are going to help others through your vision, your art, and how you choose to be in the world. The healing process below will help you to accept. So for the healing process, you know, they want you to close your eyes, imagine love pouring down from the universe straight into your head, reaching behind your eyes, you know, so it, this is like just, I think, trying to go down through your chakra, through your third eye, your throat, you know, go through your heart, down to your, you know, your solar plexus, then into your sacral, then into your root. Um, so if you want to do something like that, I think that would be beneficial. But this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful reading. <laughs> um, so if you're, if you're worried right now, don't be, don't be you have a lot of blessings coming in and i'm hoping that venus i don't know where it is natally but either way it is it will affect you um you know with your resources with your love your relationships and so i'm so excited for this energy to be you know just activated within your life this is such an exciting reading so group one that is all for you and uh, yeah i'm gonna get on to group number two now Hello, group number two. So you are group number two. You chose the turkey feather of fertility, of abundance, um, of purification. Um, I got, oof, I have my hair <laughs> wrapped in the turkey feather. Uh, so um, I got chills reading this because the first oracle card that I chose for group number two, I had already chosen, obviously, your little totem. And then I started shuffling. And so the first card that came through was Coventina. Coventina is the goddess of purification. And what is the turkey feather used for? It's used for purifying. It's used for smudging. And I just thought, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing. But first off, look at this beautiful, beautiful imagery. The colors, she's absolutely gorgeous. 
So it says, this message comes as a help and not as an affront or criticism. Your vessel has become clogged by overuse of harsh chemicals and the offending sources within your psyche. You've been ignoring your body's many signals and screams for relief from steady indigestion of impurities. Perhaps you've also noticed a slump in your energy level and your degree of joy has lagged as well. Never be cut off. Never mind these past effects though, as the solution is at hand right now. Now that you've heard this message, don't hesitate. Make arrangements. You'll want to keep a sharp focus on the contents of your mind and speech, for the words you think and speak are the very diet that supports or thwarts you. Choose purity, and I promise you a changed outlook for the better. So basically the meaning of this is follow your intuition's guidance about making lifestyle changes, stop abusing alcohol or drugs, avoid processed foods such as sugar, white flour, and so on, eat more organic foods, keep your thoughts and speech positive, adopt a vegetarian or vegan diet, or go on a fast or detox. You know, for a lot of people, I think this is about introducing more, um, you know, whole foods, more cleaner foods into your diet. Um, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like they have to completely get rid of sugar and of yummy things, but you know, it, it's time for you to detox, um, you know, just for you to get the turkey feather which means purification and then to also me to pull this like uh spirit is yelling at you that you need to maybe just go smudge right now <laughs> get some sage get some palo santo if you don't want to do that you know there's plenty of incense that you can use to smudge your aura your energy and so you know do that first take care of your physical body um and then you know add in you know maybe two to three liters of water and start getting some you know an extra serving of vegetables into your diet start small you know just start adding you know an extra piece of fruit to your diet and over time just increase and increase and increase and before you know it you're you're gonna be eating you know a more you know healthy sustainable diet um but like i said also i don't want you to completely like oh i can't have that cake or don't completely cut yourself off from you know indulging in life but i think you you might need to you know clean yourself up sometimes that's from the inside out so your first card is the five of pentacles so this is a gorgeous card. Uh, traditionally, the Five of Pentacles is one of financial hardship. It's struggle, lack of faith, rejection, and sickness. Guys, you're, you're getting a lot about health in this reading. And so you might really have to start looking at your health. You might be a little sick, or maybe you're having issues where you're always bloated. You know, you'll eat one thing and then your stomach's bloated or, um, you know, your, your body's just maybe just needs to go through detox. Maybe you need to do a coffee enema. Um, but this is in the past, right? So this is not your present or it's not going to be your present or your future. Like, so if this is talking about, you know, financial hardship, that is the type that has clogged up your mind and you're having negative thoughts and you're worrying over the future. I want to tell you that your next card, which is two of cups is saying, don't, don't. So two of cups, it's a, it's an amazing card for love, but what a lot of people ignore is that this is the card of partnership. This is the, you know, the cup of togetherness and working as a team. So it's partnership, not just in love, but in everything. So help is on the way. I, I don't need to stress about this. Cause like I said, this is in the past, um, but help is on the way, you know, if you've been feeling out of sorts with your body, don't worry. Cause you can change your past right now. Like just adding on an extra serving of vegetables right now, you're already living a healthier life. So I just help us on the way. This could be looking into more, um, you know, cleaner ways, maybe uh, healthier ways or things to add into your daily lifestyle. Or this could actually be a physical person coming in. But, you know, th this person, whoever's going to be helping you is going to help you in so many ways. It's And it's not just going to boost your self-esteem and your morale and your energy and your aura. You know, it's also going to have, you know, it's going to change you physically. So your third card is the Ace of Wands. All right, guys, the kids are a little loud. <laughs> but I love this card. This is a beautiful card. They're cuddling. You can see the woman. She's holding her. He's holding her stomach. What is it? Yeah, his his hands on her stomach. She's a little pregnant, you know. She's she's just in you know the very few beginning months of pregnancy. Right, her stomach's a little swollen. This is beautiful. And then you have twin flames over here in the fire. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous card, which I feel like 100% supports this of your two of cups. So you know this person, 
right? Or this idea that you're giving birth to. This is going to change your life. The Ace of Wands is a breakthrough. Whenever you see this in a reading, with whether it's the, the Rider Waite or in this deck of the Sexual Tarot, this is a breakthrough. This is a bold new step into the beginning. Anything from your past is gone. This is going to be so much different than your past, so much different than your present. Your future is looking extraordinarily bright, as bright as this fire. <laughs> like this is like also you know the ace of wands traditionally it's um it's a phallic symbol meaning that it represents the male genitals so this 100 percent is this is creation so this could be very physical in your life um this very well could be for some people not for everyone but this could be the birth of a new child um or of a pregnancy traditionally it shows of a male child being born since you guys keep on getting purification since you guys keep on getting you know two of cups and then you have fertility. I see this you cleaning up your body to either be able to conceive or this is on your mind. And I mean, I think this is an amazing, amazing just thumbs up from the universe saying that this can happen. All right, guys. So I actually just had to stop it to go um, tell the little ones, my little niece, <laughs> that they're being too loud. They're having a slumber party right now. And um, I think that is actually a really good sign. Um, if you are trying to conceive, if you are thinking about expanding your family, even me having these interruptions right now <laughs> or the kids in the background, like this is a really, really good sign for you. Um, so if that is something that is on your heart, this is an amazing um, message for you. Of course, that's not going to be a message for everyone for a lot of you this isn't the birth of a human this is, could be the birth of a new way of living one that gets you out of that fight or flight that i'm barely getting by i'm living paycheck to paycheck this is getting you out of that and this is getting you into partnership of being supported the two of cups not only that but the birth of something new it could be a new job it could be a business um so the last card you got is big bold vision so it's very important that we read the book that came with this. This is not something that you memorize. It's, um, you know, it's, it's guidance. So when I'm doing readings for myself, this is, you know, how I go about it, um, especially when using Oracle decks like this. Um, big bold vision because it's important to see what did the author mean when they, you know, created this gorgeous deck. So it says you were not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big, even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can even come to pass or what all the details may look like. You can access the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it all will work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. See right there? You are not the sole player guys you're you're getting so much that's just like reiterating the fact that you are going to get help you are a contributing participant there is something a vision or an idea okay now we're going back to the ace of wands this is the start of something new a creative idea that is coming to you you may worry that is too much for you but don't worry it is meant to be yours although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do as you let go of your limited thinking and open up to fearless acceptance of bigger brighter and more radical but potent possibilities of creatively living your light in the world yeah we need to get out of this lack mindset this five of pentacles of being sick of not having enough of you know financial insecurity that's no more for you um, you guys have some huge things so this oracle brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuitive sight it's already happening trust in what you perceive even if, even if it conflicts with what everyone else around you is saying or the surface of things, trust your inner perceptions. So this is about, you know, feeling it before you can even see it, right? You are in the creative process, right? You are this ace of wands. You're this woman right here giving birth to a new way of life. You know, this could be a new relationship or this could physically be life <laughs> or it could just be, you know, the creative pursuit of something that's going to get you out of this five of pentacles of feeling like, you know, you don't have enough and getting you into just abundance. Like this is an absolutely beautiful reading. Um, I, I hope that it resonates with you guys and that you're able to make sense of it and actually actively put it into your life because with this Venus being activated, um, you know, this week becoming an evening star, you have amazing things coming towards you. And oh, I'm so excited for you guys. This was really a beautiful reading. So if you're waiting for help, don't worry, your two of cups, your help is coming. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna move on now to group three. Hello, group three. You chose the citrine. Um, I love that this represents sacral chakra. I love that it can be used to balance it. Um, I am currently balancing mine and I will be teaching you guys how to do the same and what changes you're gonna be noticing um, because this really, like I said, this is the most important chakra of the woman's body. When, you know, when this is aligned, I mean, your sexuality, your reproductive abilities, your pleasure, okay? The type of orgasms you have, it all opens up. You feel so much joy, you'll have so much create creativity, um, especially if you're you know, starting something new, you're learning something, maybe piano, music. Um, I, <laughs> it's so crazy, I was pretty creeped out because spirit is kind of, spirit was very um, aggressive with this reading in that the first card that I pulled to go with the sacral chakra, is this so this is Sara Savati and um, as you can see it is a beautiful woman <laughs> she's I, I want to call it a banjo in English but I'm not sure of the exact type of musical instrument it is but the card says the arts express yourself through your creative activities your sacral chakra especially for you, those of you who are very artistic, who draw, who um, paint, who um, maybe you're into clay moldings, or maybe you're a singer, you're an actress, you're a dancer, you know, you're, you're in entertainment, you're making some type of videos, you know, you really, like th this message, having your sacral chakra balanced, this will 100% aid in not only you becoming, you know, having your finances you know, making money off of your passion and your creativity, but also in reaching others and basically being a magnet, um, a beautiful magnet <laughs> that not only fulfills you, but fulfills them. So I'm gonna read from the book what it says. You're a limitless being. If it seems that you have time, money, or other restrictions, it's simply because your mind is focused upon the material world. You can unlimit yourself by lifting the cloak of the material world from your focus. Music is essential for the expression of non-material ideals and energies. Music colors our surroundings with the highest vibrational fields. It allows us to escape all limitations in our thinking and very existence. Surround yourself in music and allow it to stimulate your own creative thinking and spark new ideas. Flow with music. Give yourself permission to investigate, experiment with putting your creative ideas into action. Enjoy being limitless. So this card, um, it's offering things that you can do um, to, you know, get into the Sarah Savati, I guess, vibe. She's the Hindu goddess of the arts, by the way. So it's saying play music, sing, dance, draw, paint, write. These are all this is why I was like, oh my gosh, the spirit is like screaming at us right now. This is all sacral chakra activities that boost and balance your um, your third chakra. Or wait, your second chakra. <laughs> but yeah, this is all second chakra type um, healing. Um, or do something creative. Study or change to a career that gives you creative freedom. Yes, this is so important. Take a creative class. Invest in an artistic hobby. Keep a journal of your creative ideas. Join a writing club or other creative support system. So the part about study or change to a career that gives you creative freedom, some people are actually restricted and they are stuck in jobs that they have no, you know, it's basically draining their sacral chakra. They have no creativity. It's, you know, it's, they're not in their femininity. They come home and they are drained. They are not joyous. They are not bubbly. They are not magnetic. In fact, they might have, you know, issues at home in their relationship. They might feel like they're not getting enough attention from men. Um, and it's because you have this, this, it's like a gray cloud following you when your sacral chakra is out of balance. Men can pick up on women who seem like they might be a nag or maybe, I don't wanna say a bore, but it, like she can like bring down your vibe. Women who are happy women, who are smiling, who are joyous, who are confident and in her femininity and um, you know, who really just look like they're living their best lives. Those are the type of women who are attracting amazing, you know, men who can basically provide for you and who want to make you happy and, you know, be a, a part of your life. Um, you know, not the type of man who's just gonna take, take, take and leech off of you, but the type of man who is going to raise you up. And, um, you, you know, obviously your sexual relationship will be very strong. It will be very fulfilling for both of you. Have you seemed to notice how some men, women, like they easily just attract men? Like they might not even be that pretty. 
and people just come up and talk to them and they have more opportunities um, usually they have a very strong sacral chakra and it's very balanced and that joy and that love it's radiating from within and so you can activate that from getting more in touch with your you know your creativity there's many other ways uh, other than what this little book said but um this is this is very important it it affects so much of your life and of course of attracting a solid uh, quality man that you want um you know when when this is out of balance when your job is draining you and you're coming home in a in a very bad mood and you just have this rain cloud following you it will repel the type of quality men who can change your life and who can support you and you support them so this is very important so your first card is six of cups let me show you the beautiful artistry that six of cups and she's just gazing beautifully into this photo or this painting that she probably made herself <laughs> sacral chakra activities of um you know what could be her and, and and you know her lover from the past so six of cups is all about the past sometimes it means someone from your past coming back but other times it means um revisiting the past or getting a second chance at something this is a this is a really really beautiful oh they're kissing we have two doves at the very bottom right lovers six of cups this is some scorpio energy the next card you got was the nine of cups so i see you guys have hopes or wishes or dreams about your future and you're starting you're going to start to set these intentions this week i can already feel it or you or you already have like nine of cups is all about your wishes and your hopes and dreams coming true you living in abundance um, you being able to manifest when your sacral chakra is out of balance you don't have that creative man um you know manifestation ability right so when you strengthen that you are able to manifest so much easier and so confidently the next card you guys got is the ten of wands when i saw this card for you guys i, I was wondering if something was out of balance because like this is the card of overextending yourself of one person giving all in a relationship so this could be for some of you this is going to be a past relationship the six of cups this is someone from your past this was a relationship where someone was giving more than the other and you know their love was not equally reciprocated so for this i see you guys healing yourselves and i see you guys either attracting something that is more aligned with your hopes and your dreams your nine of cups energy or I see you getting a second chance at this relationship and finally you getting, you know, balance, you getting harmony, right? Because when we're out of balance, we repel people, right? Things don't go our way. It's very hard to manifest when your sacral chakra is blocked. Like it's very hard. So the last card you got is trust yourself. And I absolutely love the artistry. Look at this. Look at the colors. This is an absolutely beautiful oracle card. So trust yourself. So I have to get the book so we can read all what they wrote, what the artist intended when they created this, this beautiful piece of art. So it is number 31. I think I dog-eared it for you guys. Okay. You are wise. You know how to grow, even without knowing how you know. Like the ancient forest, spectacular galaxies, and the acorn that becomes the oak, there is a natural intelligence for growth that is beyond logic and reason. See, guys, we are not using our logic. We are not using our reason. We are not using our first chakra, that root chakra. We're using our sacral. <laughs> so it just happens. At the deepest levels, we are governed by this force that is so palpable. It literally shapes the world. At the same time, it is invisible. And sometimes we forget its presence and worry that our minds have to work everything out for life to happen and for us to be all right. Again, this is going back to your sacral chakra. When you're worrying, when you're overextending yourself at work, when you're worrying about where your next meal is going to come from, this drains your sacral chakra. And it's very, very hard to get what you need out of your relationship because, you know, you might have issues within your relationship or you might notice that you're just not getting the type of men who could provide for you or who want to be for you emotionally or financially. Um, everything is basically touched in our lives when our sacral chakra is out of balance so we have to understand that if, if you're worrying too much if you're if you're too much in your masculine frame of doing 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 
of um, competing in this world to get to the top, you you have to you have to step back and you this is like a call to action for you to embrace your feminine energy, step into that intuitive flow because that is what's going to attract these opportunities, these relationships, um, amazing relationships to you. So it says this oracle brings the message that you are growing. You really are. Don't doubt it. Even if you don't see it yet, remember that so much is happening when the seed is still unbroken and in the ground. Below the earth, it is summoning up all the might, power, and force it needs to push above the topsoil and burst up into the light. It is essential for anything good to happen later on. Yet we don't see any of that. We just have to trust that things will happen when the time is right. You're being asked to trust in yourself. You know how to grow. Don't overthink things. It won't help you. It really won't, guys. <laughs> Don't worry so much. You are doing a great job in this scheme of life. When you trust yourself and you relax, you can heed your own wisdom, insight, and messages much more clearly and easily. Right? So you have a big destiny this lifetime and much to experience. So I don't know. Obviously, someone needed to hear this. <laughs> but if you were having an unbalance, if you felt like you are putting in all of the work, things were not reciprocated. You just got an amazing, I guess, just blessing from the universe with this Venus moving into being an evening star this week. We just had Venus move into Taurus. Um, it's going to bring blessings in your life, okay? Whatever your past was, we're not worried about that anymore. Even if you get a second chance, things are gonna be much different because this is Nine of Cups. This is you getting your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your intentions coming true, right? So. Remember this of the arts. You can do these things to help get more into your, I don't know, you, you gather your feminine energy because, um, you know, sacral chakra is all about the feminine, the woman, the womb. Yoni steams can help. Baths can help. Um, reading, writing, you know. This isn't really the time to go for a run. If you do want to do exercise, I would say light exercise, like that of Pilates or ballet or dancing. Oh my gosh, dancing is amazing for your sacral chakra. Um, belly dancing, even twerking, that really, I don't know, it just builds the energy. And um, it usually mesmerizes the opposite sex. But anyways, um, so I really hope that this resonated with you. And you guys have a lot of really good things coming your way. So this is it for this reading, and I will see you guys in the next.